technician. Hey, okay, so I think my coworkers are gone, so I can speak a little louder now. All right, so guys, this is video number three, and I'm gonna talk about meeting professional boundaries or even having professional boundaries. Okay, so um, number one, I discussed in my last video, number two, is to not discuss personal things, okay? Um, you discussing uh, what your future goals are, um, what do you think about President Trump, uh, racism, uh, mixed people. That is not what you're there for. You are not her friend. She is not your student. It's inappropriate to discuss those things with the mother of the child you're babysitting. Okay. Uh, number two, don't discuss race. Don't discuss mixed people. Okay. Number three, don't discuss why you don't want to leave Japan. Okay. Number one, don't discuss personal stuff. Number two, don't discuss race or mixed people. Number three, don't discuss why you don't want to leave Japan. And now it's story time. Okay, so guys, this is about my Korean mother who I'm working with now. And of course, like I'm not gonna say her name or anything like that. But um, I had went to the doctor with her and we had so much free time on the train because the babes were asleep and we were, you know, going um, on the train. So. First of all, she, I like, I was quiet the whole time. She was the one that was initiating conversation with me. And she had said like, oh, you know, like this is on her way walking. She was like, oh, you know, um, you're so highly educated. And I was like, yes, I am. And I'm, I said, as you know, I'm becoming a doctor and I'll be a doctor this or next year. So I'm really excited about that. So I was like, okay, that's, first of all, that was weird, okay? I, you would think that you want to be around somebody who's smart. Like, I love being around smart people because I want to learn something from them. The second thing she said, we were getting in the elevator and going down into the station, and she said, oh, I think Western babies are cuter than Asian babies because Western babies have bigger eyes. And I was like, I, I didn't say anything because it was so... First of all, it was inappropriate, slightly racist, and number three, why would you say that to me? Like, she's Korean. You have Asian children. Your husband's Korean. Your children are Korean. So you're saying that Western babies look better than your kids because they have bigger eyes? I don't think that's a very nice thing to say. The next thing she said, she was like, oh, I think it's really cute when Asians are mixed with black and even when they're mixed with white. And then she said to me, what do you think? And I was like, I think people are beautiful just as they are. You don't have to be mixed to be beautiful. I think Asians are beautiful. I think whites are beautiful. I think blacks are beautiful. I think everyone's beautiful in their own right. You don't have to mix up the race to be beautiful. Like that's just, it's just weird, you know? So what else? She said something else. Um, Oh, and then she was saying like black women, she was like, you guys are so, you have a glamour body. And guys, glamour means, you know, we have curves, but the Japanese and I guess the Koreans as well say glamour, like your body is a glamour or you have a glamorous body. Glamorous to us means beautiful, like Beyonce is glamorous. Not only does she have body, but face. So, you know, it means everything to us, but to them it means your body is very curvy. And she was like, yeah, you guys are so beautiful, <laughs> except for your hair. So I, I was just like, I didn't say anything because what am I supposed to say to that? And then she was like, oh, can I touch your hair? And I was like, no, I don't like being touched. And then as she said it, she didn't say, oh, can I touch your hair and keep her hands out? She said, can I touch your hair? As she said, I said, no, I don't, I don't like being touched. Hi guys, I'm back. Okay, so what I was saying before is that I'm not saying that you shouldn't speak to the mother. Of course, you have to speak to the mother. But what I mean is that you shouldn't be speaking to the mother about your personal business. Like, it's just not appropriate. And like, like from just from my experience, and I've only had that one experience, but it's just, I don't know. It just seems like it opens up a can of worms. You want to be professional at all times. And the best way to do that is just to not discuss your personal business or your viewpoints about race or about mixing babies or about Western babies having big eyes or about black hair or black women's body. It's just, those things are just not appropriate. And she is the employer. Now I am self-employed, but for today she is the employer and she's giving money to me. So it, 
it just seems like she's the one that should be acting professional because she's the one that's paying, but she's acting not unprofessional. So that means you are the teacher, you're the babysitter, and you are the one who's gonna have to act professional, okay? All right, guys, so please leave me some comments below if you have any questions about babysitting, um, how to be professional, how to maintain boundaries. Please write them in the description box below. I'll see you next time. Bye.